What's happening, people? Jono here from Fitness Education Online. Super excited to get into this week's episode. I've got a very, very special guest. Uh, just before I do, I do want to address my lighting. I've been getting all these comments on, on YouTube. Jono, if you're going to be a YouTuber, fix your lighting, yada, yada, yada. Learn how to do lighting. And I'm actually very good with lighting. I know how to get very good light. Uh, I just purposely keep myself dark because I'm not the best looking guy. I know if I had perfect lighting, I'd probably lose followers. So it's just easier for me to, to do it in the dark here. But anyways, let's get to today's show. Uh, the, the person that I've got on is an absolute weapon when it comes to fitness business, specifically the sales side of things. He wrote the book on sales. And I'm not saying that as a joke or an exaggeration. He's an Amazon best-selling author. Uh, I hate selling for fitness professionals. So I recommend go out and read that book. I, I used to have a copy of it, but I borrowed it. I gave it to my friend. I gave it to my salesperson, Claudia. Um, and a lesson I've learned there is don't give your stuff to Claudia because you never see it back. I would hold it up, but I don't. So sorry, Ryan. But anyways, without further ado, uh, let me introduce Mr. Ryan McKenzie. Top three tips on how to get more clients. Jono, I'm going to take this from a small group training perspective because that is my niche. That is what I love doing. That is my go-to. So here's the problem when you hear small group training. Nobody knows what that is. Everybody has their own opinion. So I'll define that real quick for you guys. Super boring details here, but bear with me. Small group training is high-end personalized training for three to eight people. Um, if you want to know more about why I think that is the the, the case for small group, ask me later, I'll tell you. But for right now, that is the that is what we're looking at. That's what we're going in. And here's the problem when most people go small group training and they try to grow their business. You get caught in no man's land. So you tip number one, you have to clearly define yourself. If you don't clearly define what you're doing, you will not grow your training. So from a training perspective, early on in my career, I said, I'm not training people for weight loss. Well, what? You're not training people for weight loss. That's right. I don't train people for weight loss. Now, that doesn't mean I don't have people that get weight loss results. All that means when people come to me and say, Ryan, I want to lose weight. I'll say, great, you can do that. I'll help you move better. I'm not going to help you lose weight. You can lose the weight. That's on you. I'm going to help you move better so you move more often, so you enjoy moving, so that you actually lose the weight. You see what I'm saying here? Their weight loss is on them because I'm only with them one, two, three, four hours a week. They're with them every hour of the week and they're responsible for that goal, right? I cannot, I made that decision early on. Define who you're gonna work with, define what you're doing. Um, number two, guys, we cannot get caught in between this no man's land of small groups. So you have to define what your group is gonna be, right? Define, and that might be different for every single group. Define what type of group it's going to be, what the mental focus of the group is. And then number three, you have to say that every time you meet together, right? It's going to get boring to you. It's going to get repetitive to you, but you have to let them know if you don't tell them to the point where you're tired of telling them, they're not going to be able to focus on what that group's about. And they're going to get distracted by all the beautiful Instagram ads and all the TV commercials and all the models telling them what they should look like, what they should be doing in their training and the tires they should be flipping and the weights they should, you have to tell them over and over again. Here's what's, when you define the group, when you define the purpose, when you define how you're going to go about it, all these things, you're actually building out a referral system without even realizing it because those people are going to get it ingrained in their head of how they should interact with the world around them. And somebody say, oh, you train with Jono? Oh, how are you losing weight? It's not about losing weight. What? And they're going to be able to spit back exactly what you say because you've drilled it into their head over and over again. So if you really want to gain clients for your small group training, you have to define everything you're doing and you have to repeat it over and over again to your clients. And I'll tell you the last bonus tip here. I know he said three. I'm sorry, Jono. I made you a liar. Define your price, guys. Um, too many people get caught in no man's land with their price and they, they turn small group training. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. I'm running boot camps and it's only $5 a person, $10 a person, whatever it is, a low price, right? Way too low of a price for a boot camp. But, oh, but only three people showed up. But I'm still running boot camps because I want to grow it. I want to grow it. And now you're really doing small group training at a boot camp rate. So you don't give as much. They feel weird because it's supposed to be bigger. Everybody feels awkward because I'm not getting paid enough. I'm not giving them enough. They're not serious enough. And nothing really happens from it until it fizzles out because you get burnt out or they get awkward. 
and then it all dies, right? So we need to define that price. Do not be afraid to be the best at something specific to where you can say, this is what I do. You will find people easier that way than saying I'm the cheapest. Here's the great example. It takes more time, more effort, more money to be the cheapest, the least expensive option than it does to be the best at one thing that's more expensive. Listen to that. It takes more time, more money, more effort to be the least expensive option. Walmart, Amazon, they got their start going because they had this massive capital to be able to be the cheapest at selling books or selling TVs or whatever it was, the cheapest thing they possibly could be to undercut people. They took a loss over and over and over again to be the name, right? So then they could grow. Amazon's actually not the cheapest anymore. They're the most convenient, right? They're the fastest responding. They're no longer the cheapest. If you compare prices, you find much cheaper places all over the place. You have to have a lot of capital, a lot of time, and a lot of effort to be the cheapest. I would recommend if you're on your own or you have a small team, do not try to be the planet fitness of the world. They've already marked that territory as the cheapest and they're doing well with it. You're gonna have to have a lot of other things to compete with that kind of mindset, that kind of business model, but you can be the best at what you define yourself to be the best at. So pick one thing, be the best you can at it and don't be afraid to charge for it. Awesome. Love those tips there. Now, Ryan, if any of our subscribers want to follow you or, or hear more about you, where do we go? Hey, Jono, thanks for letting me get on here with you. This is exciting. Uh, best place to find me is anywhere um, social media. It's at I Hate Selling. And if you want to download my best selling book, I would highly recommend you do that. It's I Hate Selling Book.com jump on, grab the book. It's a free download for you. But here's what I love the most more than anything, right? Get the book, learn the systems, get the heart behind it, right? For sales, for growing your business. Yes. For your team. I love talking to personal trainers. I love helping people that are hungry to help people. I love helping them grow. So anybody that gets my book, there's an offer to be able to get on a phone call with me. I want to help you with your business. I've got like it's, it's a sales call, right? And so I can you can see how I do it if, you, if that's a, a benefit to you at all. It's not pushy. It's not sleazy. It's me helping you with your business. But the idea behind this is I've got courses. I've got one-on-one -on -one training. I've got all kinds of stuff that can help you. The first step is grab that book. The second step is let's, let's get a conversation going so I can actually help you grow where you want to go. And um, if you want to follow me to see if I'm actually a real person and I've actually been doing this for a while, I hate selling. Um, if you want to see my, my personal page, so you know that I'm actually a genuine guy who's not just out here switching industries all the time like most gurus are, right? Um, Ryan McKenzie, look me up. There's a bunch of us, but uh, you'll see me. Ryan McKenzie, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you want to go. So that's it for today's episode. I would love to invite you into the Fitness Education Online Community Facebook group if you're not in there already. It's a free Facebook group. There's thousands of trainers in there. We all share tips and ideas. Everyone's super supportive. And that's really what we do at Fitness Education Online. So uh, I'll see you in there.